Welcome to a Star Wars figure review. This time we have the Attack on Hoth ATST Target Exclusive. Comes in this box. It was a really hard one to find. When I was at the store, they had about six of the Hoth Rebel turrets and one of these, so this came right with me. Came with three figures, which you'll see in a moment here. Two snow troopers, the cannon, and a super articulated ATST driver. Overall, this is a really good one. They give you a lot more detail, but like the uh, ATAT walker, they cut down on the size of the plastic. If you notice, the plastic is a lot more thin on these. It's uh, more or less designed to be a display item, not really something you're going to go outside and play with. The detail of the ATST has been commented on, it's been released at least twice now. Comes with a lot of great stuff. The uh, flip up turrets here really look great. The turrets, everything. It comes with the firing missiles, which I don't use. The guns swivel all over the place so you have a good range. Comes with the firing missiles and a interchangeable gun for the bottom, which is this thing which is not even close to looking like what was in the movie. Uh, the biggest problem is getting this thing to stand up correctly. It uh, folds out, you see, and it, it goes up higher. I'm not going to do that. It took me about half an hour to get this thing to stand in this position when I first got it, so I am leaving it. Get a look at the back. It's just the detail. Everything is really spot on to uh, what they did in the movie. The models is bang on. So for those that are creative enough to do stop motion videos, you can have a lot of fun with these because you can really make it, really relive the scene and put it what you want. So a quick glimpse at the uh, driver here. It's got really great stuff. The one problem is the goggles. Can't get those to stay on the helmet. So for the sake of not losing them, uh, it's a little easier just to put it as a necklace like you kind of flipped them down and kind of charges out the turret. Opens up, closes nicely. Detail decals are pre-applied, which is nice. You get enough room to put two figures in there. So at one point you can do the Han and Chewbacca if you wanted to. Or just do two ATST drivers. Right now I haven't even decided who I'm gonna put in there with him. Snow Trooper is pretty much basically what's on the shelves right now. The only notable difference is the carded figure I bought recently for the Snow Trooper has this kind of orange guck all over the uh, helmet and this one doesn't. The cannon is firing again is a gimmick I don't like, I don't use, but uh, just for the sake of it being complete I put it like that. Not into firing missiles, and uh, just like the Jedi Four Master, I've become to agree the removable helmets are just kind of overkill. Certain figures could use it, but certain most figures don't. It's kind of overkill on the snow troopers, the clones, the uh, sand troopers, everybody. Really, the molded head looks a little bit more accurate and stays in place better. It's not a, another piece you have to go looking for if the cats get to it. Flip down and again, yeah, everybody be careful, this plastic is a lot more thin than what uh, what they've been producing in the past. So again, it's really designed people like us in mind who are actually going to just buy this thing 
for display. You're not going to take it out to the yard and have a battle with that on the grass. So here it is. ATST Chicken Walker. And while we're at it, a few glimpses of my collection. Thanks for watching.